Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a foundation routine that is sweat proof, heat proof, it's just summer proof. It's basically just a foundation routine that's going to last throughout these hot summer days that we have, especially down here in Texas, it gets so hot. So I'm just sharing some tips and tricks and basically a good foundation routine that's going to last through some intense heat and a little bit of sweat as well. So if you guys are interested in learning how to achieve a sweat proof foundation look, definitely keep on watching and we'll get to blending. So before we even start thinking about applying foundation, we need to make sure that our skin is ready and it has been prepped. So that means you wanna make sure that you start off with a clean face. I just like to go in with a gentle, mild facial cleanser to make sure I get all of the, um, all the excess oils on my skin off, all of the dirt. I just wanna make sure that I start off with a clean canvas. So the next step is moisturizing. You wanna moisturize no matter what skin type you have. My skin type has changed a little bit, but um, I used to have super oily skin and I would not moisturize my skin at all. I figured if my skin's oily, why even moisturize? It makes no sense. But what my skin was doing is it was actually dry. I just didn't notice it just because it was so oily all the time that you know when I would skip out on moisturizer, the skin would react and overproduce oil. So my skin was really dry. I just didn't notice it because it got so oily. So it wasn't getting the necessary moisture that it needed and basically make my skin even more oily, oilier. It would basically make it even more oily than if I had applied a moisturizer. And of course, if you have dry skin, you're going to want to moisturize anyway, but for those of you that have somewhat oily skin, never skip out on moisturizer. It's super important. If you don't do it, it's gonna do more damage. I like to use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. It's a nice moisturizer that sets into the skin really quickly and it's not very heavy on the skin and it's just a good moisturizer that doesn't do too much moisturizing. So now we need to prime our skin. Primer is super important when it comes to achieving a long lasting foundation. Primer is going to grab onto the foundation and keep it on your skin. It's just gonna really help achieve the long lasting foundation. So. I, I guess I more so get dry skin than oily skin. I have combo, but it's more on the drier side. Kind of depends on the day, but most of the time I will go in with a moisturizing primer. The Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer is super good. It has coconut water in it, and so that's really good for um, moisturizing the skin. If you do have oily skin and you find that your foundation just always slips off of the skin really quickly, go in with a mattifying primer. Urban Decay D Slick Complexion Primer is good. You only need a little bit of this because it is super, super matte. It, it takes away any kind of shine and it's a little bit aggressive. But today I'm just gonna go in with a thin layer of the Too Faced Hangover RX primer that I talked about. So I'm just gonna go in with about half a pump of it. It does not take much at all. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit on basically everywhere on the face. I do apply a little bit more product on the cheek nose area, just because I find that's where my foundation really tends to wear throughout the day. Another step you can add in is totally unnecessary. It just kind of gives me the peace of mind that I added an extra step to help my foundation stay. I'm just gonna use a good one that's good for every skin type. Um, this is the MAC Fix Plus. It just really preps it and makes the skin nice and hydrated. Moving on to foundations. There are a countless amount of foundations out there. There are ones that have a matte finish, luminous finish, satin finish. It just depends on what your skin needs. For a matte finish, I'd recommend the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. That one's super good. It lasts all day, gives you full coverage. It's a good foundation. If you want more of a satin finish, I'd go with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. That's what I will be using. So I'm gonna go in with Let's do one pump for now, and I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend it out. Now, the amount of foundation I feel can affect the way your foundation is going to wear. I feel that if you over apply your foundation and you apply too much, it's gonna cake up and it's gonna be a little bit more prone to wearing off throughout the day. Um, you just wanna make sure that you're not caking on your foundation. And I am blending in my foundation with a damp beauty blender. I love this technique 
tool. I guess it's a tool. Uh, I like using this um, best out of anything else to blend out my foundation, my concealer. I feel it really presses it into the skin. So whatever you use, make sure you're really pressing it into the skin. I feel like sponges really press foundation into the skin and that's what you want. So I would recommend a sponge. So once my foundation is blended out, I'm going to move on to concealer. Concealer, that's a personal preference. Um, it depends if you want light, medium, full coverage. Um, I'm gonna be using uh, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is super good. You can get medium to full coverage. It's buildable, it doesn't feel heavy. And that's the thing is with intense heat and thick makeup, they just don't mix. And I get like a super grossed feeling from that. I just don't like the feeling of like a caked up face and the heat. It's just, it's not fun. I'm gonna press this into the skin. You really wanna make sure that you press the product into the skin. You don't want it sitting on top because when the product is just sitting on top of the skin, that's when it's really gonna fall off. So once that is blended out, I like to go in with a setting spray just to really melt the makeup into the skin. So I'm gonna go in with my MAC Fix Plus spray again. Next up, powder. I just like to use powder to set the areas where I applied my concealer. If you don't set your concealer and you're in the heat, I mean, it is summertime, it's inevitable you're gonna get into the heat it's just gonna melt away. It's gonna crease, it's gonna get real funky, it's gonna wear off very easily. So even if it's a light amount of powder, set your concealer with a powder. I just try to not apply powder where I don't need it because I don't want that matte dull look. So I'm gonna go in with my um, Airspun Translucent Face Powder. I really like this one. First of all, it's super affordable. And second of all, it does not dry out my under eye, which a lot of powders do, but this one, don't let me down. It, it doesn't let me down and it don't let me down, I don't know. So I just get a small amount on my damp beauty blender on the pointed side and I just apply it where I applied the concealer. And I'll let it sit there for a minute or two. I don't like to let it sit there too long because the longer it sits there, the more dry your under eye area will be. And we'll do a small amount on the chin since that's where my makeup can really wear off and the nose as well. And I'm doing my makeup in between all this. So um, it's been there for a minute or two. You can just dust it away, use whatever brush you like, and then your concealer is set. Okay, I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my makeup and we will conclude today's video. And then once you are done with the final look, like if you applied your highlighter, your blush bronzer, and everything like that, you wanna make sure that you set it with another layer of setting spray. In case you look a little bit too powdery, too cakey, it's gonna really melt that extra product that you applied into the skin so it looks a little bit more natural. And that, you guys, is how you achieve a long-lasting, sweat-proof, summer heat-proof foundation look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that this was super helpful. I felt like this video would be very relatable to a lot of you just because we're in the middle of summer. It gets hot, especially here in Texas. And we all wanna look good. We don't want to forfeit our good looks just because of a little bit of heat. We wanna make sure that we are looking good. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you check out all of my social media pages. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have those names in one of the corners above and they will also be linked below in the description box. You guys have a fantastic day rest of your day. Jesus loves you so very much and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.